I went to medical school and we were told that, you know, your blood pressure has to be, you know, 130 over 90. And that was a nor still a normal range. So you could be 128 over, you know, 88 and you were still considered normal. The same thing I went to see my personal physician and told him, you know, my blood sugar is creeping up every year that I'm doing it. And now it's 96 fasting blood sugar. And I'm worried because soon I'm going to be pre -dying. And he said, it's below 100. It's okay. He told me, you're normal. Don't yeah. worry. <laughs> and I told him, I said, what is normal? And I think this is, um, this really is where I think longevity medicine is going to make an important impact. I, I can't tell you how many times I've had this argument with people about glucose. And here's the funny thing. We have the literature that says the lower the A1C, the lower the all-cause mortality, it's a monotonic reduction that knows no lower limit. I'm with you. We say that up to 5.6 is normal. And if you're at 5.6, you're fine. But 5.5 is better than 5.6 and 5.4 is better than 5.5 and 5 is better than 5.4 and 4.8 is better than 5.1. Yeah, I'm not there yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But my point is I also find it, I don't know what the word is, maybe sad. I find it sad that we've, we've simplified this problem. You know, I'm frustrated, but I'm also excited by the fact that this is now becoming uh, the norm in a whole new field of physicians who are more aware of what, what actually what is health. Are you convinced that adiposity per se is problematic or do you believe that a person can have excess body fat but be metabolically healthy and confer the same longevity benefit as a metabolically healthy lean person? 